Hey, this is a typical work problem that you might see in an algebra class. But I think it's pretty useful myself. So we're going to work several of these. So it says, Jack can mow the yard in four hours. His son can mow the yard in three hours. Working together, how long will it take them to mow the yard? So we're going to want to write an equation. And I need to get my pen in order. We're going to write an equation. Okay. So this is how it goes. <clears throat> Now we got to center our minds around one hour. What I mean by that is <clears throat> we put the part in the numerator. Down below, we're going to put how long he can do the task. This is the in one day. Or anyway and four hours okay so in other words he's done a fourth of the job in one hour so that's where the one in the numerator is coming from he's done a fourth of it in one hour plus now we look at his son see this is all centered around one hour how much of the job can be done in one hour? He can do it in three hours. Whoa. Okay, that needs to be written a whole lot better than that. Okay, so a third of the job is done in one hour. If his son can mow it in three hours, how much of the yard has his son mowed in one hour? A third. <clears throat> in one hour. How many hours will it take? So that's what X is. You see that? Now we've written equation, an equation, and we want to solve for x in this problem. It's that simple. Now, in the previous problem, we would multiply all the way across by 4 times 3 times x. And you can think of it that way. And you know what? Let's just do it that way. Let's just do it that way. Okay, if I got enough room, I didn't really set this up to have enough room. So 4 times 3 times x. We're going to multiply all the way across by 4 times 3 times x. Now I'm not going to multiply that 4 times 3 together, which gives us 12x. I should probably do that, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so let's now rewrite. So we have 4 times 3 times x times 1 over 4 plus 4 times 3 times x times 1 over 3 equals 4 times 3 times x over 1 over times 1 over x. So you can see what's going on here. The 4 is going to cancel out. So you see that gets rid of that fraction there. And then the 3's cancel out here. And then the x's cancel out lastly. And so now we're going to clean this thing up. We have 3x we have 3 times x plus 4x 
is equal to 4 times 3, and I'm going to go ahead and just combine that, so that gives us 12. Now we solve for x in the problem. Solving for x. And since 3x and 4x are like terms, we have 7x is equal to 12. And therefore, x is equal to 12 over 7. So 12 sevenths of an hour. Let's just go ahead and plug that in the calculator. What exactly is 12 sevenths of an hour? Well, I'm going to put a little curly brackets here, but it might actually be exactly 0.58. Now that's 0.58 hours. We got to keep that in mind. Okay, 0.58 hours. And you're like, well, how many minutes is 0.58 hours? And I believe it's like, uh, we'll just convert that over to minutes there. Multiply that by 60, and I think you get 35 minutes. Okay, so it's going to take them about 35 minutes to mow the yard if they work together. Isn't that amazing? takes four hours for one, three hours for the other. And they can do both work together and get it done in 35 minutes. That almost doesn't sound right, does it? But it is. has to be. It has to be right. Huh. Interesting. That can't be right. Let me look at the cap. Wait a minute. That's... What in the world... 12, 12 over, that ain't right, 12 over 7, where did 0.58 come from? Okay, that's the reason common sense, you got to look at your answer, this is an example as using common sense, let's cut that out of there, 12 over 7 is I didn't think that was right. I was like, man, they're working together. They're getting that job done in a hurry. 1.7. We're probably going to have to. We'll go ahead and go to there. 1.714 hours. So to convert this into hours and minutes, just take the 0.714. Let's subtract off the 1. Multiply it by 60. Okay, so this would be like one hour and 42. I'm going to say, actually, it's 43 minutes, but we'll just say that. An hour and 42 minutes. That'd round up to an hour and 43 minutes, but we'll leave it there. Yeah, I looked at that, and that's this, this was an example is when you look at your final answer, Need to see if that really makes sense or not. And I'm not sure why I wrote down wrote that down on my paper. But uh, this is an example of take a look at your answer. Does it really make sense? I think this makes a whole lot more sense. 1.714 hours if they work together. Or 1 hour and 42 minutes. Okay. We got time for another one. Ooh, 9 minutes. Oh, all right, we're done. See you in the next problem.